with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. The Toronto Gay Men's Chorus braved the cold to sing at a vigil for the victims of the city's gay village serial killer last night. Activists called for better policing, an end to institutional discrimination and a more caring community. Following protests across South Africa, the film and publication board have bowed to pressure from anti-gay groups and re-rated the movie in Chaba from 16 to X18. The change means the award-winning film can now only be seen in licensed adult cinemas. The Australian Football League have reversed a decision which banned a transgender woman from playing at state level. Hannah Mouncey is now free to play in any women's league, while the AFL say they are finalising their gender diversity policy. Christopher Bailey has unveiled his final collection for Burberry, which includes a rainbow plaid for the fall winter collection. Sales will benefit the Albert Kennedy Trust and the Trevor Project, helping homeless LGBT youth and Ilga World. And finally, Ryan Murphy has jumped ship and signed a new five-year deal with Netflix for a room of $300 million. Streaming service snapped up Murphy as his contract with Fox came to an end, saying they'll continue to champion the diversity within his projects. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines.